all track. Okay, so first thing first is the adequacy of uh, decision variables. And uh, as a short summary, I started off with only one variable, number of interviews equals to a thousand, because that was the only thing needed. So I don't try to be stingy, but I don't abuse overly defined decision variables. Then comes the point where I have to talk about with children, without children. So one variable is not going to do that, do that, right? And I started off rewriting, in fact, everything. Because when decision variable changes, uh, all your constraints will change at the same time. Now let me uh, also uh, highlight one part okay, that uh, I haven't really, uh, for the sake of smooth flow of discussion, uh, stop and discuss a little bit more just now. And that was at the point of having, um, at this point, all right, where where I was talking about number of decision variables, and uh, no, sorry, uh, number of interviews, and so I was at the very initial stage. Number of interviews done has to be equal to one thousand, right? That, that's a constraint. That's a constraint. Then I realized that, whoops, I need a second variable because uh, I need to talk about with children, without children. Now, at this point, at this point, here is where uh, I show you how to go backwards, revisit your variables, right? And I, I change that. So we have seen that. But what I want to uh, highlight here, discuss here, is another kind of change that I strongly discourage you to do. I strongly discourage you to do. Okay, why? Uh, well, before I say why, what is the thing that, that you shouldn't do, right? So, we need another variable, right? Some of you, maybe you, but I hope it's not. Uh, it's going to say something like, well, let me stay with N. So, N is the total number of interviews. And let me define the, uh, let, let C be the uh, households with children. Okay. And because I have the aggregate and C households with children, anytime I need the number of households without children, I just use N minus C. You see that? Yeah. So that instead of writing N equals a thousand, I still write N equals a thousand. And now I say that um, number of households with children has to be 400 or more. You see that? Okay, so that's another line of thought that is going to be mathematically correct. I cannot argue with you on that because it's correct. It's mathematically correct. But it is the kind of uh, model that involves subtractive thinking. Not that it's philosophically not good, but it is clumsy and it is uh, not easy to think about not easy for us to going forward express more complicated constraints yeah and also after the fact after we have written the the model it's not easy for a reader of the model to appreciate it to understand it so try okay in fact if I don't use subtractive model what is subtractive model that is what is the number of how uh, what is households without children it is given by n minus c. Anytime you need to know this quantity, households without children, n minus c. So it's subtraction. Don't use subtraction, use addition. So in my earlier example, I was quietly using additional aggregate kind of a scenario. So so instead of saying an aggregate total is, is a decision variable, I broke it down into the components and used the components instead as decision variables. So I broke down N into D and C. Well, at first it was D, C, and E, C, right? Uh, wait, let me see. C and N, C. So children and without children. So then you'll be children plus no children equals to a thousand. And anytime I need the number of households with children, C. Without children, N, C. So that's a positive way of describing it. Aggregate or additive way of describing it. The subtractive way of describing it is mathematically correct. You might even get the right answer, 
right, when you solve it using Excel. So it is not about whether this model is mathematically right or wrong, but it is not appreciated. <laughs> Uh, very awkward, not very illuminating, not very descriptive. So in writing models, not only that we have to be faithful and correct in terms of translating what is there, we translate. What constraint is not there, we don't add ourselves. There is also a right way or a, an encouraged way, a, a clearer way, a clear with clarity, right, to describe it. And that way is just uh, automatically enhanced by using the additive way to describe decision variables. Okay, so uh, so don't use so don't use subtractive way of describing decision variables. Another way to put it is think of decision variables more like Lego block. If you want a long Lego block, you don't say Oh, now I need a short Lego block. So let me take a long Lego block and saw it into half, right? We, we don't enjoy that. We don't do that. Although that can be a kind of toy as well, but it's not right. But Lego block says, well, if you need longer Lego blocks, I give you two small ones and you attach them together to build a longer one. So that is the, the aggregating way, the positive way, the ad additive way of describing models. Don't use the subtractive way. Okay, that's what I mean. Second thing is, uh, don't, so there are many don'ts here, don't simplify uh, at all, okay? Why do we simplify? First of all, what do you mean by simplify? Simplify means uh, you cancel things out, uh, you move them, uh, you, you, you cross out things. So, so example, uh, if you have 2dc two, two plus 4, um, EC greater equal to 400, right? So don't simplify it into DC plus 2EC greater equal to 200, dividing through by 2. Now again, I can't argue with the fact that it is mathematically the same. So it's not about mathematical correctness, but again about clarity. So we seek clarity in our model. By retaining this, the 400 is there and it links directly in terms of the correctness of the number with the so-called layman's way of describing the problem. So someone in the survey department said, hey, you know what, uh, or some, someone in the social department said, you know what, uh, we, for those households with children, they make sure it's substantially a larger proportion of it, you know, like maybe 400 households has to be done. So in that case, the 400 is still being seen in the model and it helps to clarify uh, the fact that we have incorporated that concern. If you cancel off, the 400 will disappear and, and you're, you're then burdened with the responsibility to explain to the problem owner, where's my 400, you know? Uh, well, this 200 is your original 400, but why? Oh, because after canceling. So uh, why do we simplify? Because we are, we have been taught to simplify, to solve problems, right? To solve algebra by ourselves. But in writing LP models, we are not going to solve LP models by ourselves. We're going to use solver. So it is perfectly fine. You might waste two milliseconds of solver to cancel the constants out. Totally no issue at all, right? So, uh, but then you waste a lot more time to explain the cancellation that you have upfront already done. So don't simplify keep them there and of course um, we want clarity right in our model we we don't try to solve it but we do want to maintain clarity in the model so uh, by, by not trying to simplify everything all right so that's the main uh, tasks and learning points that we have gone through right uh, pretty substantial ones because this is our first example and here we get to see a version that is realigned that has got all the variables realigned and okay I know what you're saying see they simplify it right yeah this level of simplification that is to say you <clears throat> uh, uh, sort of combine all the terms having the same variable 
and uh, reduce them down to the simplest form. Yes, this, uh, this, this level of simplification is permitted to the extent of uh, intending to have only one variable on the left hand side. One variable each of the decision variable each on the left hand side. So we do not want plus 0.3 EC plus 0.3 EC two times on the left hand side. Okay, and the reason we do this, having one variable uh, or each variable occurs only one time on the left hand side and all constants get shifted to the right hand side. This format, as you probably can guess, is very convenient for us to port over to Excel or for that matter, other kinds of programming languages to try to solve it subsequently in the second step. So uh, it is, it is uh, okay if you want to simplify to this extent, right? But not further, not further. Don't cancel out the constants. All right. So uh, of course, between this version and the previous version that I uh, sort of made, made up, uh, it is okay to leave your proportional constraints in this form because it is uh, clear that we do have 40% uh, as, as our minimum amount. But what is missing here is definitely the, the non-negativity constraints. So we need to say something like DNC, DNC, DC, DC greater equal to zero. This is important and we should always keep in mind to put in the non-negativity constraints. Okay, as we have here. So after porting over to Excel, and we have learned that in the previous video sessions, that's kind of, uh, perhaps it's daunting at first, but it's just setting up the worksheet, fill in the solver form and click solve. And straight away, we are being told that there is a solution and we should be conducting 240 uh, interviews on households with children in the, day, in the daytime, 160 in the evening time. 240 done on households without children, so same as with children, done in the daytime, but 360 done in the evening time, right? And together it's adding up to a thousand. More importantly, there's a guarantee being given here. So with the unit costs involved, the total uh, cost to achieve such a result under these constraints will be $20,320 and no lesser. That's the guarantee given. In other words, there's no other combination of DCEC, DNC, ENC that will give us below 20320 for sure, guaranteed. So you can confidently propose this to the boss and barring missing of any constraints that was supposed to be there, this has to be the best uh, the cheapest or the most cost-effective way to achieve all the concerns. Okay, so hope you find this useful in uh, trying to convert a business problem into LP model.